Hello, my name is Andrew Sorokin. I am a tour guide in Australia. I've been doing tour guiding business more than 13 years and showing beautiful, exotic, unique places in Australia for many, many thousand tourists. Uh, this video I designed to show you how you can travel with me around Australia for many days. When I travel with tourists in Australia, I usually we stay in hotels, motels, and uh, I provide a full comfort for the group. But this video I designed to show you how you can uh, travel by yourself or how you can travel and minimize your all expenses. So that's why in this video you will see lots of hints how you can find a place overnight, how you can uh, stay overnight and to find the right places it's really important because hotels and motels prices in Australia are very expensive and uh, staying overnight beautiful places you're not only enjoying the beauty of Australia but also it's really drastically minimize your budget this is really important especially for the young travelers in Australia we start in our tour in Sydney and we'll travel more than 3,000 kilometers along the coast of the east coast of Australia and after we'll turn to the outback of Australia and we'll travel through the outback Australia back to Sydney. On the right hand side you can see there are lots of the government buildings and um, we just passed uh, the high pack barracks, the first prison, the library, the next uh, hospital we also passed and at the library you'll see the Matthew Flinders, the man who named this continent Australia and soon we'll turn to the towards the Sydney Harbour Bridge which was built in 1932 and still considered the a largest arch bridge in the world. Uh, this Sydney Harbour Bridge uh, was constructed in 1932 and uh, it's almost 13 meters lower than the Great Egyptian Pyramid. So that's pretty impressive structure which is built uh, almost 100 years ago. This new 8 days itinerary designed to show you the most beautiful places in Australia. Uh, really you will see the beautiful ocean, uh, you will see the, it's, uh, the desert and it's a good idea to see this uh, video on uh, YouTube and after that uh, send me a message and uh, we can organize it for you a real tour so you will come to Australia and you will see by your eyes exactly the same uh, even more than as I filmed in this uh, video for you. Soon we'll leave um, Sydney and we'll travel towards the central coast. But still now we crossing its long Sydney Harbour Bridge, which is 550 meters long. And if you look at this uh, right, it's a really uh, vintage vehicle and but it's still driving look it's it's really perfectly turning and uh, i guess the vehicle that's you know, right in front of us about 100 years old maybe a little bit less but look this is pretty perfectly steering this is all about australia we quite often see that they can be seen old vehicles and now we turn in from uh, Sydney towards the highway and the highway at 1000 kilometers and we'll finish highway in the Brisbane uh, that's really well patrolled by the police if you look to the right you see there's a police car we just passed and uh, you shouldn't really it's uh, speeding on the highway if you're driving by yourself
on my torso I'll never speed in. A uh, highway uh, goes through the Karinga Chase National Park. It's a really beautiful national park. Uh, the road literally cut it through the mountains. And soon we'll pass the Brooklyn Bridge. We have a sub of Brooklyn. Also, we have a Brighton Beach. The Australian inherited lots of names. And also, soon after few hundred kilometers you will see Toronto like a Canadian Toronto but it's a Canada also that's the Sydney exists so that's why it is sometimes mixing up what kind of Sydney they're going to book the private tour so right in front of us beautiful scenic drive across the Huxbury River we're just uh, driving down descending and um, this river one of the many rivers will cross on the tour so just to see this we will just as pass the sign Brooklyn this is the uh, Brooklyn Bridge it's on the right As you can see the road straight, really well maintained, but the speed, maximum speed on the road, it's only 110 kilometers. You can add a little bit more, like say 110 kilometers plus 5, it just, it's fine, but not over the 5 ki kilometers, so it's for speeding over 10 kilometers you'll be booked quite for heavy price now we'll just across Newcastle and uh, we heading towards the Port Stevens soon uh, we stop for lunch what I suggest to you when you drive in it's try to the drive and it's a hot weather or wet weather so it's really beautiful it's with hours of the day just for your enjoyment and the trying to that's the drive when it's really unpleasant so that's the that's the hours of the day uh, right we'll turn to off the highway and uh, we head into the it's a crossing it's another river and we head in the right to the beach i found in the map beautiful place for the picnic picnic on the beach so uh, let's see oh this this is our place if you look there's there's beaches beaches in australia there are more than 11 pounds on beaches this is one of them the beautiful place but what's the problem is quite windy uh, this is brighton island in front of us yeah it's like a sanctuary and um, protected area so there's non people on the beach now it's windy so we decided to let's this stop for a picnic right next to the beach yes it's, it's dunes protected us so this we can really feel the wind you see this is a really beautiful you can cook uh, make for you with beautiful lunch just in uh, several minutes you see there is a tuna pretty fresh tuna this is a gas uh, that's oven so you can uh, cook for yourself and enjoy your lunch very quickly with a view waterfront view now we keep driving towards the returning back to the driving and the driving towards the port stevens and um, next stops will be port stevens uh, we expecting to s uh, finish port stevens uh, before the night because you know it's night driving it's really dangerous 
and unfortunately yeah it took longer time and look there's a lots of a kangaroos this is a really big problem in australia with kangaroos so if you're driving overnight you have a low very very high chances that it's uh, hit the kangaroo and it's your tour will be over and your journey over so it's drive before the night night time look there's a thousands and hundred thousand kangaroos everywhere so then drive before the night uh we stopped uh, uh overnights in a beautiful place uh right or after the port St uh port stevens and uh look there's a uh, lots of the kangaroos the kangaroos everywhere we've seen them at at night it's the kangaroos really active overnight in the sunset sunrise daytime so it's hiding and uh, this is our place this is right sunrise on the beach and uh, beautiful beach uh, we travel winter time so it's winter time it's water not as warm it's uh, summer time but it's still it's pretty okay you know for swimming it's about 18 degrees and there's still a kangaroo so look there's a kangaroo still it's watching us uh i parked the car uh just uh, behind it's the just this place that's protected by the mountains and near that's uh near uh the beach so really important find a place for the camping before the night otherwise you can camp somewhere in the early in the morning so you'll get a really uh the bad night because this place can be very windy or it can be uh, like locked and you'll be locked and they also have to pay for parking so this is pretty legal parking uh overnight uh this place and it's look it's so beautiful so it's uh picturesque so this we this is our car we'll travel by in mercedes uh really smooth comfortable vehicle and inside you can put it at its mattress and sleep inside but it's for me when i travel with a tourist of course a tourist we can put the tents or can uh sleep in the cabins and the campings uh, there are lots of options for a comfortable sleeping and um yeah that's the really important uh plan your night stop before you'll really be like stop anywhere you will be very exhausted you'll stop somewhere you'll be very hard to find a parking a parking spot uh, and you'll get it's bad night so look there's a kangaroo still it's listening to me and uh, watching around there's a baby this kangaroo it's it's see there's a baby it's kangaroo and this is a beautiful beach there's a little bit like 20 minutes later after sunrise beautiful reflection here and this is our breakfast place with uh, this view look is again it's um cooking is my that's the that's the gas the uh, oven really easy to cook you'll get enjoy the view and um, what i decided i decided to have a look from the sky so where we stay in so i have my it's the drone it's like a flying camera and this is a view from a uh, aerial view at the place you look this beautiful beach and there are lots of the beaches in australia mountains and the beaches this is so relaxed and peaceful one of the thousand places in my collection and look at this right at the end there is interesting place there is a prison uh, for the convicts and after breakfast we decided to visit this place as you can see there is an old prison it's now it's a historical museum uh, the convicts uh, stopped transported from uh, Britain uh, in uh, 1870s and uh, this prison was built 
for the maintaining the colony so there's a lots of uh, ships they sailed from Sydney to Brisbane and Brisbane to uh, to Sydney and this jail was right on the middle of the way so there's always a free labor helped all the ships load the coal and uh, maintaining yes all the ships so this uh, view from uh, skies so it's always the reminds of the a prison and the jail and then look if it's a look down there's a beautiful camping site right in front of the ocean a beautiful view and you can pay like a few dollars for the camping it's also a good option uh, kangaroos kangaroos everywhere there is a male and just it's uh, trying to find it's a lot better food rather than the grass or something so this don't feed the kangaroos it could be dangerous uh, if especially if you feed with uh, sweet like bananas you'll get crazy about the sweets and it can it's attack you and again there's a beautiful beach non people of the beach uh, when you travel in Australia you just simply enjoy enjoying this endless beaches endless beaches crystal clean water unpolluted there's no rubbish on the beach so there's a still it's Australia in top five cleanest countries in the world so far and I hope it will uh, we uh, soon will return back to Kai and continue our voyage and what I've seen I've seen it's the, the parrots the parrots called the uh, Galla it's a pinky parrot pink and gray parrots that's Australia is a land of uh, parrots a hundred different parrots now we'll return it back to the road to hit the road and we're driving towards uh, the coast harbor uh, today we'll cross the border of the New South Wales state this is the second day of our um, the tour and uh, today we'll stop uh, somewhere that's the at the beach again it's I'm expecting that we'll stop at the beach with a beautiful view or maybe we'll stop at the river there is a uh, the river and uh, that's I know it's beautiful camping it's the river but it's uh, Australia is a huge country is the size of uh, like America it's not a Europe so when you're driving and it's uh, when you're driving over as uh, in Australia it takes hours hours of driving unfortunately uh, we can't really the minimize the driving it takes hours of driving so if you get bored this definitely Australia it's not for you we travel to Europe where there's like one hour drive and you it's another country Australia it's about the driving and we just uh, pass uh, the coast harbor uh, we'll keep driving whoops and uh, you see this is a new Italy it's a little place on the road it's new Italy not far from the border of New South Wales and um, real Italy you see this is all the statues uh, Italian pavilion the museum and uh, beautiful coffee you can stop here in little Italy on the road it's place uh, this almost we are close to the oh it's the uh, camping look is on the left on the right this is a uh, sugarcane plantations the Australia uh, is the number one country export of a sugarcane yeah in the world by the way and uh, lots of lots of plantations over the coast harbor and goes up to the Mackay uh, see this on the left again it's a farmer's land uh, sugar sugar that's a cane it's uh, harvesting in uh, winter time and uh, sometimes few times a, a year uh, harvesting sugarcane plantations and we found this beautiful beach and uh, papaya so there's a tree with papaya there's another beach long 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 beach but uh, looks at the uh, 
place and I decided it's not to stay here. I decided it's better to stay on the river. This um, nearby it's uh, it's a wide river and the near the river it's a um, resting area where you can stop overnight. Oh well, there is a fishing man, so yeah that's driving for uh, night fishing. Uh, if you drive in on the beach you'll think that you're really prepared for it because you can stuck. And this is our place. You see, it's not only my car, but there's all other cars that stop here. If you look, there's a very important uh, stop the place where there is a toilet. If you look at the end, there's a it's a the toilet and a beautiful place. Lots of uh, pelicans. So, so the first night with the kangaroos. This um, night will be with the pelicans and the sunset. It's really close time to sunset. We stop right uh, before the sunset as I explained you before the pelicans also love in sunset sitting on the uh, uh, street lights poles and there is sunset it's again another splendid sunset at the east coast of Australia and uh, we Staying, having our dinner with the sunset at the place, pretty legal place. There are lots of the cars, people also sleeping overnight, paying nothing. Uh, this place next to Marina, uh, always lots of uh, uh, fishermen uh, sailing overnight, so they park in the cars legally overnight and, and in the resting areas or near the marina. So you can park overnight as well, and it's nobody really kicked you out. The pelicans. So there's a marina. It's also it's a good idea as to if you don't have a money or do you really have minim minimizing budget, you can stop and uh, absolutely for free and enjoy your night stay. This is the next day, the third day. Our voyage. Uh, the sunrise. The sun. Rising, the pelicans already ready. This is going to fishing. I had a nice sleep, and this is this is my table. There's a picnic area as well. And uh, look, I, I haven't uh, cooked yet, but uh, lots of uh, birds. This is a magpie. It's a really nasty bird, and uh, this it's already trying to trying to steal something from my table. The pelicans, it's every pelican is uh, on this on the pole. Also it's watching waiting. And the ibis. This is the ibis bird. It's also this bird it's trying it's always stealing food. In Australia and having a long beak so it'll keep pick up the crops from any almost uh, bottom of the rubbish bin. We finish our breakfast and uh, we heading uh, towards uh, Brisbane. So this is the third day, and uh, soon we arrive to Brisbane. I confused you that the today we'll cross the border of the New South Wales state. It's just uh, next to the Byron Bay, the border of the New South Wales. So it's after this tunnel, it's one uh, less than one hour drive and we'll cross the border. will be Queensland state, nothing different, everything the same. Uh, this tunnel was just recently built. And uh, we passed this way in the Brisbane, we passed the Gold Coast. And uh, this is the bridge, the paid bridge of the Brisbane, uh, the Brisbane on the left hand side, unfortunately you can't see it. And uh, soon we stop in Nusa. Nusa is a really posh area that's uh, with expensive property and um, loving place for staying on holidays. This road has surprised me. There are lots of a pine. It looks like you're driving somewhere in Canada, in Europe, or Russia. And uh, on the way to the Nusa, I stopped at the mountains. So look, it's called that uh, 
glass house mountains we'll climb on all of them tomorrow the next day the fourth day of uh, the uh, journey but the really impressive mountains really unusual and the uh, way new sun there is a new uh, it's tourist area uh, the new sits on the canals it's like little Venice and the plus there's a beaches with no waves with beaches uh, with open ocean with the waves uh, there are lots of uh, cafes, restaurants, nightclubs. Uh, it's a really well developed area, clean, a luxury. So that's in Nusa. I uh, have a friend, so that's us staying with friends and uh, not camping in Nusa. So there's a canal and uh, there's lots of the property, waterfront property in Nusa. Uh, and uh, really beautiful. Oh, this is it's an open beach, and uh, so in New South there's a uh, lots of canals, and the plus there's a uh, open ocean. There's a beach. There's a uh, lots of people on the beach. The temperature right here there's 22 degrees, so it's already four degrees warmer almost than in Sydney w uh, water, and it's 26 uh, the temperature uh, of the air. So it's really comfortable for the, the beach holidays in the winter time in Nusa. This is uh, from uh, the drone, the Nusa. You can see there's a canal, a lagoon, and the beaches, endless beaches. Today is the fourth day, and uh, today we'll travel, explore the uh, uh, Glasshouse Mountains. It's really unique mountains in uh, Australia. And I'll show you how it's impressive. It's quite big news, uh, the area. And uh, we travel, so we'll f had the breakfast and then traveling along the coast. There's again, it's this beach after beach we're traveling along the coast it's this beachside beautiful road uh, towards the glass house mountains that's uh one hour drive from a new sun and we enjoy it. it's beautiful coastal drive there's another beach after beach, this road it's keep it's going along the coast, and so it'll turn to off the coast. So now again, you see there's uh, lots of pines, both sides, and this is the first uh, look at the uh, Glasshouse Mountains. There's Triangle Mountains. There's a kind of a, a unique formation mountains we're getting it's closer closer to the mountains and we'll climb on the, on the mountains i'll try to climb to all the mountains as possible well, it's, there's another vintage car as i mentioned before australians the old, you can find it's a uh, sea on the roads so a lots of the uh, unique vintage cars like it's just purchased it last month now uh, we're closer and closer to our that's the it's the target uh, the mountains called the Biriwa, Biriwa Mountain. Uh, the sign in front of the mountain is explaining you what you should do, you shouldn't do. So there's a rocks falling. You have to first aid kit. You should be an experienced climber. This is showing you how a rock can be. It's it's a falling rock. It can be big, so it can smash you. And uh, plus there's triple zero if it's in case something happened. And this is a mountain. So there is a mountain. There is we really close to the mountains. We'll try and should climb right on the top of the mountain. And there's another sign. It's about history of the place. Biriwara, uh, ancient village, the Mava. Is Aboriginals people. Don't climb these mountains of the spirit respect to the genie bara. But Europeans, you know, climbing on all the mountains, there's not many people respecting. So I didn't see the sign, but you know, anyway, so I'll try to 
not to climb to the top I'll just on the half of the mountains but it's really hot you look this is a uh, horizontally I uh, keep in my it's a camera and look as steep the mountain so there is no way I'll try it with my bare feet they climbed and it's climbed a little bit you know this is I'm here so if you're unexperienced climber forget about this mountains very well uh, instead I will uh, launch a drone and look this is a beautiful photo from a drone and uh, also I will show you a video video of the Biriva mountain so this is a Biriva mountain are all Aboriginal names it's very hard to pronounce so it's quite a spectacular view at the mountain and uh, soon uh, after this uh, filming video will travel to another mountains it's easier easy to climb in mount so there's the view from a uh, couple hundred meters this mountains has surprised me it's like a piece of a rock sticking into the uh, ground impressive uh, there's one of the lookouts nearby towards the Glasshouse Mountains. There's panoramic view. It's quite impressive view. And now with the Glasshouse Mountains, uh, we are in Nganga Mountain. In Nganga, it's a really easy uh, walk up the mountain. There are lots of people uh, walking. Uh, it's a little bit steep ascent, but nothing special. It's pretty easy walk up. There is a cave in the mountain, and soon we'll reach the summit. We're on the summit of the Ngadga Mountains. That is was a mountain that's uh, it's, uh, it's not possible, uh, very hard to climb, and. Uh, there is a panoramic it's the view there is like a gorilla mountain straight ahead it's there's another mountain so we'll also try to climb on that mountain and uh, we drive and look this is a pineapple field so there's on the left there is a pineapple field if you've never seen pineapple field this is a real good experience and there's the next field also it's a field with a pineapples it's pineapples quite cheap and very sweet yeah look there is a uh, two dollars each of three for five dollars really sweet pineapples i bought one at uh, one pineapple it was uh, sugary sweet and um, i didn't have a mm, uh, lunch b and so that's i decided to stop the lunch again it's a uh, cooked for me like it's just with uh, like a fried eggs with uh, tomatoes pretty mm, tasty and this is the uh, the gorilla mountain so this is it's a special name of the mountain so i'll tell you later how it's named kookaburra there's another bird it's uh, making it really funny sounds like kuka ka 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 and loving it's a barbecue the picnic areas also love to steal the food be careful with the kookaburra bird in australia ah this is tibrogargan mountain it's a gorilla, like a gorilla mountain, so Tibrogargan mountains. We walk from the picnic area right to the mountain, and uh, soon we'll see what is the mountain. So it's the same sign. It's a warning that it's a tourist. So it's really hard climbing, so you must be experienced climber. And I did it a little bit of climbing. But again, it's the same story. Uh, you must be crazy or like a professional experienced climber. Otherwise, it's not really safe to climb in the mountain. So I will launch the drone as well. So if you, that is a guy who so is really struggling. It's a descending. So it's ascending even easier than descending. Descending is pretty, pretty hard. Really hard. It's, it must be like it's a real it's a mountain climber. And this is a mountain. So this mountain from uh, above. 
Chibra Bargan Mountain. Yeah, really beautiful. Sometimes the twist we can really it's descend back here. Well, this is another couple that's uh, descending, that's uh, down, and it's also it's not easy. It's really steep, really really steep, and it's also struggling descending from the mountain. And uh, we're returning back. Back to Nusa. Before we knew, there is a Sunshine Coast area, and I decided to stop on the Sunshine Coast. And after it's a hot climbing, have it that's the swim in the ocean. It's temperature, as I said, it's 22 degrees winter time. It's pretty pleasant, and again, it's endless, endless beach. So we travel, and it stopped overnight. This is the fifth day. And uh, we travel into Mori. There's Mori. There's a place it's outback. So it's from Nusa with returning back to Sydney. But instead of uh, driving along the coast, uh, we'll drive in through the outback. So you will see it's interesting places in outback. So in Mori, it's interesting. Uh, uh, small town with a hot springs in australia yes we have a hot springs as well it's uh, one of the longest one day driving it's about 600 kilometers uh, one day driving so this is, is, is hot but we will be rewarded we will be rewarded with a hot springs in the new set uh passing brisbane so this is a brisbane and uh, we'll cross the Brisbane through the uh, tunnel. So this is the longest tunnel in Australia. It's recently built. Uh, quite impressive structure, and uh, it's uh, quite long. So it's uh, almost like five minutes driving, and still not at the end of the tunnel. It's still, it's it's, it's going cost money but you'll save in lots of your st uh, traffic jam stacks so we know it's on the outback you can see this uh, the trees it's a drier Australia in the drought so it's this year there's a drought in Australia uh, lots of this is it's almost you can't see the green so the greens it means uh, this is this area where the farmers the sprinkle of water is the melioration it's this if it's this uh, natural rains you can see almost nothing it's nothing of water we crossing a uh, great dividing range there's this road going to up the mountains and uh, all the mountains really steep it's uh, curving road and all the mountains uh, will be plateau Australian outback soon the vegetation everything you know, changed and uh, changed the color it will be a lot drier that this, this is the view from the lookout beautiful great dividing range towards the memory the last turn of the dividing range soon will start descending from dividing range to the plateau. It's another turn. And now as we cross its great dividing range, look, there's a cactus. So it's actually, it's a parasite. It was brought to Australia, but it's really well spread around Australia. And now we have uh, lots of uh, cactuses like in uh, Mexico. And we're heading to Texas. So the cactuses, Texas, Australian Texas. Look, there's a Texas Mattels, Texas everything. Little tiny, it's a town, Texas. Australian Texas. And uh, we're here. This Texas, uh, typical outback small town. Texas with a funny name, you know. Australian Texas with the cactuses. 
uh, the last lookouts on the way to the Murray. This was a long drive today, but this, this is a Murray Aquatic Center, so a beautiful paradise for the resting after a long drive. You see, there's lots of uh, artesian water, the the hot springs. This is a more like, cozy place. There's for extra money you can get like a better upscale facilities. Uh, it's the well, it's not chlorine water, the chlorinated water. It's just real. It's uh, artesian water. There's no chlorine in the water. The sauna and overnight you can stay the look there's a uh, moon in the skies it's beautiful it's moon it's uh, face it upward not in the side like in the northern hemisphere it's uh, facing up after refresh it today is the six days we uh refreshed in the murray and they keep driving and driving off the murray towards the double towards the double this is even dry the soil it's mentioned before it's the drought so it's all the farmers really struggling nowadays and you can see there's a road that's like a line just straight a, a few hundred kilometers with no chance on the way to the uh, Daba we decided to stop and visit the ancient caves where his aboriginals lived more than 12,000 years ago there is uh, next uh, uh, the highway, the side road. Australians love to travel, so looks everywhere, all the places, lookouts. Always you'll find it's uh, tourists. So this Yama uh, means greeting. So a sign is telling you uh, where to go. It's after a few minutes we'll see the case. So see there is a bushfire. The bushfire is pretty typical in Australia. The tree is resistant to the bushfire and the river generation it's really quickly after uh, several months already again becoming green. Uh, this, this is the first place where the aboriginals lived. It's a high that the aboriginals never built uh, houses. They used uh, uh, nature, yes, yeah, so like a landscape, a caves and the halls and stayed overnight. Uh, there is a beautiful bed for the ancient aboriginals. There is a shelter, I said it's the roof, protecting from uh, rain. And the aboriginals could stay here and enjoy the view. It's beautiful uh, view towards the ancient. That's how Australia was uh, looked like before Europeans arrived. It's typical forest up to the horizon line and um, no the structures, no the roads. Imbirambahai. These aboriginals we glued together all the roots. So this is a one long view that can explain lots of things. So this is place we signed uh, telling these aboriginals uh, populated this place 12,000 years ago. So look, this is 12,000 years ago. It's uh, they lived here and uh, up mini this Aboriginal life was absolutely perfectly adapted to the uh, environment, to the nature, to the climate. So it was a simple life and the Aboriginals minimized all its energy and uh, resources. And been living in Australia more than 50 years, 50,000 years. So this is, is a crystal ki kingdom. It's a, it's an interesting place on the way to the Daba. There's lots of uh, crystals, uh, lots of uh, fossils. There's an uh, old couple that's maintained the place. So there's a Wollumi pine. It's in we have a Wollumi pine. It's a real one, still uh, growing in Australia. And this is a fossil, with absolutely the same type of a tree, which was lived uh, 200 million years ago. So this is a. Uh, these stone trees is a petrified the tree the trees is became like a piece of s uh, this stone but it looks like it's just a piece of wood so there's the wood and it's a uh, fossilite and petrified it's becoming like a piece of a uh, rock uh, mm, on the way to that's the that's the the daba we decided to, to do the detour 
and the stop at the local mountains also that's uh, different it's, uh, it's a landscape again and uh, here the largest uh, the telescope in australia and the, this telescope in top five the largest telescopes in the world it's interesting it's idea that's uh, how these drivers can explain uh, how this massive our universe and our solar system so we can drive you can pass in its distance from uh, like a sun this is a uh, telescope like a sun and all the planets there's the in the scale it's market on the road it's a science with this is uh, like um, mars so there's uh, earth this is um, saturn so we uh, walk towards the telescope. It's a massive structure from a telescope. It's a beautiful view. This massive this we can take a lift and uh, ride a lift up to the top of the telescope. It's a 15 meters thick. It's the uh, glass, the mirror, the 15 meters mirror. That's of the telescope. It's a massive telescope. Again, you see, it looks uh, really unusual structures. This is a telescope, this is a massive, uh, that's the mirror, actually collecting all these uh, lights. And the uh, people, can even scientists here, even it's, uh, it's uh, studying its dark matter. Uh, uh, telescope operating almost at night. So this is a quick, uh, I'll show you how it operates, operated. the place in Australia where it's really crystal air and uh, southern hemisphere. Uh, this is in the local it's a museum next to the telescope. So there's a scale can scale you and can give you idea how you look heavy on the different planets because of different gravity. So it's a little bit confusing. I'm just about 10 kilos, kilos more on, the, on the, the Earth. But on the sun, it will be one and a half tons, and the Jupiter will be about 170 kilos, and on the Mars, it uh, will be about 25. And the same uh, it's idea about the milks, so you can uh, uh, lift the milk, and that's the packet, and you see how that's heavy. This is eagle. Now look, it's like big eagles uh, by drone. Uh, there's the telescope on the top of the mountain and uh, local valley with a magnificent view we will drive closer to really unusual mountains here and uh, you will see this close view towards the mountains As I said, we decided to drive closer to uh, the rock formation. And uh, soon we'll stop and the lunch be drawn. And this is, yeah, this is uh, it's impressive, the mountain. So there's a volcanic activity was it doing it during the dinosaur ages. And that's all it preserved from that time, except the trees. Now it's with small trees than it's been during the dinosaur ages. Uh, lots of uh, uh, hiking trails in the mountains in Australia, almost everywhere. There is a national park. If it's it's a unique uh, mountain track, it's a structure. The uh, the rocks, all this area, it's designated as a national park, and it's national parks. You can enjoy uh, your the hiking. Uh, only you should know that this is really uh, dry and really hot in the summertime. So there's another view from the Sonava Angle to this valley of the We finish in uh, this park. This is the uh, end of the national park with the mountains and unique rock formations and after park we head into the Daba 
as you can see there is an orange color the soil that's why the one of the town is called orange and uh, soon we'll stop on a beautiful river Macquarie so this is a uh, this is a next stop that's uh, end of the sixth day of the voyage and you can see the beautiful river Macquarie River and uh, this night we'll spend the time with a uh, cockatoos there's a uh, lots of a uh, cockatoos they're making noises all of it's on uh, trees and uh, bush TV fire so there's a special it's it's uh, legal it's a fire pit and you can see there's a sunset sunset at the Macquarie River uh, finally we enter and it's the uh, it's driving through the Daba it's quite historical city we have lots of old buildings I can see there's a Macquarie uh, there's on banks and it's a uh, Westpac Bank beautiful place peaceful quiet the summertime is pretty hot in Adaba and uh, next to Adaba there is um, a zoo uh, it's a Daba zoo it's the Daba zoo it's like a, a safari park uh, you can drive through the zoo but it's on the car or it's on a bicycle so I prefer it's a ride on a bicycle and there's a big this enclosures with uh, animals uh, this animal you can see uh, it's pretty the huge uh, enclosure there's a mom with a baby after the rhinosaurus uh, you can see the, the giraffes and you can feed the giraffes is with a carrot is a free entertainment you can feed with giraffes and click your photos uh, it's Daba is famous with the giraffes uh, the numbers there's lots of it's the numbers of the giraffes and the hippopotamus it's uh, also it's quite unique animal and it's pretty uh, feeling good in Australia even as you can see the hippopotamus with the babies Hippopotamus uh, alive Australia look pretty happy and of course elephants so this is uh, on the right that's uh, uh, that little elephant it was just born in May it's a small baby few months old it's uh, breastfeeding still little man and it's like a toddler it's it's already a bit few years old elephant it's still it's staying with man zebras and uh, tiger it's a tiger from uh, Asian tiger tiger and of course uh, wildlife Australian wildlife it's look it's a so fat like a wallaby it looks like eating non-stop and the koalas look there's a koalas on the trees the koalas really welcome of last this is the and uh, if you look at the bottom of koala it's white it's uh, trying to pretend it's uh, being a cloud if you look it from the ground and there's another koala see this is sitting on this very very thin branch it's pretty easily like very comfortable sitting on its tiny it's in the branch like it's 
in a circus, you know, on a rope. Even it's, it's sitting, it's not falling and sleeping, could sleep. So there are lots of uh, koalas, uh, kangaroos and emus. Peacock. <coughs> uh, peacock, it's not Australian animal, but it's pretty, uh, very, very pretty. This, this is a peacock, it's just pretending. So there's a uh, female around. So it's a practicing, it's just it's being, it's impressed the female. And after Daba will stop in the peak hill, there's gold mine. So this gold mine it's not functioning. There's all the go gold already excavated. Uh, there's the statues of the gold miners. There's this, this gold mine from uh, 1860s. And uh, uh, this, this is a recent the development. They excavated the gold. Uh, uh, so you see there's, a, there's uh, lots of uh, tunnels and the shafts. And it uh, took th uh, <coughs> the gold a long time ago. And recently, I decided to from 1996 till 2001, I decided to let's, let's, let's mine the gold like open uh, way. And there's a huge gold. There's an hour, it's a gold mine. It's, it's a huge job, you know. It's from this, uh, the gold mine, it's, it's more than uh, 280 thousand stones of uh, uh, this, this uh, rocks being excavated and only 140 kilograms of gold been it's in it's been uh, melted it's a huge job and after we uh, visiting this uh, the huge dish the dish this dish was used for the there's the largest dish in Australia and it used during this uh, this moon uh, program is uh, received the signals from uh, uh, the Apollo mission, and right now it's still it's using for the Mars program. Uh, it's uh, receiving signals from the Mars, and it's beautiful coffee right at the dish. And on the way to the uh, back to Sydney, there's uh, one of the parks area with a uh, vintage that's. Uh, steam train yeah and uh, we uh, finally stopped uh, at the orange orange with a wall lots of uh, vineyards and we visit one vineyard there's another vineyard with a really exceptional wine there's a one owner he's a german guy he's moved to australia a long time ago it's 50 years ago and planted so really it's making exceptional wine it's uh, this nice uh, Zinfandel. It's it's only one in Australia. It's a plantation of Zinfandel. It's his loving doggy. And this is uh, the tasting wine tasting. It's veranda with a view. After we uh, decided to stop, it's, it's, uh, it's our the seventh uh, night at the lake. Karkor Lake. And there's a dinner, our dinner at the lake with a view. Well, there's an uh, aerial view of the lake. It's really beautiful, really amazing. It's quite peaceful area. And uh, finally, now it's the last day of our voyage, and as I woke up, because of it's so impressive, it's sunrise, sunrise right at the lake, sunrise, it's, it's uh, amazing reflection, windmills, this is getting more and more popular, windmills in Australia, it's really quiet and the sun rising. Oh, it's already, you can see the sun, sun of the horizon. And, uh, and uh, we uh, 
cooking now it's a breakfast breakfast last breakfast hour watch on lake and uh, today we'll head in towards the Sydney uh, we'll cross the Blue Mountains Blue Mountains region uh, in the Blue Mountains we can visit the Genola Caves so one of the cave orient uh, considered as the one of the most beautiful cave in the world it can be visited uh, well today we'll skip this the my, uh, this cave and we explore the Blue Mountains canyons there are two canyons uh, both of them it's one of the oldest on the planet they are really really close approaching to the Blue Mountains uh, we'll be very zigzagging road across the Blue Mountains Canyon right on the top of the canyon and uh, soon uh, you will see if it's the Great Blue Mountains Canyon so this is uh, the uh, Victoria the bridge and this is uh, one of the the wall of the canyon it's pretty amazing it's uh, more than from the top to the bottom uh, 985 meters of the deep depth of the canyon amazing so this is a great blue mountains canyon there is now another canyon with a three sisters famous rock formation so we're finishing our eight uh, days tour in the sydney <laughs> 